As soon as you start learning mathematics, you encounter a lot of notation, definitions, theorems, and proofs, which at times could look rather cryptic and esoteric. If you don't understand how these things came about, sooner or later you might be asking, "Does math have to be so hard?" Or even, "What's the point of all this?" The answer is simply: people have thought about certain things and decided that the best way to lay down their ideas. Is to come up with suitable notation and definitions and derivations of interesting facts. But unless you are a mathematician, you are basically stuck learning things that originated from someone else. Of course, you are free to refuse learning mathematical concepts that are handed down to you. But then the question becomes: What would you do instead if you are faced with the problems that these concepts address? Let's look at a very simple example: the decimal number system. For expressing natural numbers, the system uses ten symbols: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Each of the following string represents a number. So I have a five here, eleven, four hundred and thirty-eight. This system is positional, in the sense that if you look at the string one one, this one on the left. Does not carry the same meaning as this one on the right. This is in fact potentially confusing, and that is why it takes a while for young children to learn the system. An easier system would just to use a single dot to represent one. So to represent five, you just put five dots together, and twelve would look like this. Under the system. Which is technically called a unary system. Addition can't be easier because if you have two numbers, say five and six, and if you have to add them, all you do is you just form a sequence of eleven dots. And multiplication is equally easy. Now to translate this equation to decimal number system, we will be writing five plus six equals. Eleven. You might say, "What's so hard about this?" Well, if you want to know why it is hard, you could visit an average grade one class, and you see students struggling with this. It's not hard for you because you have immersed in this system for so long that you have assimilated the notation and the rules of manipulation, and probably you have forgotten how hard it was when you first learned it. So, given that the dot system seems more intuitive, at least for children, why do we make them learn a harder system? There are a number of reasons for this. One main reason is that, even though the dot system seems easy to grasp, it's actually rather annoying to be writing all these dots. For example, it is simply impractical to write down the number 438 in the dot system, but that's not the case in the decimal system. Even numbers in the billions are still manageable by hand in the decimal system. So, in a sense, the decimal system is a lot more practical. So, the benefit outweighs the pain of learning it, and that is why schools around the world teach it to children. And in the same vein, other mathematical concepts exist for a reason, even though the reason is often not taught. And the key is, if you immerse yourself in the concepts. As you have done for the number system, it can eventually become as natural as the number system. The question is, how hard are you willing to work? So, in the next few videos of this series, we will take a look at a sample of fundamental math concepts and see how they came about and why they are useful. And hopefully, they will motivate you to put in the work to learn them. So, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for updates. And feel free to post questions in the comment section.